I don't know what true love means. I think love is something that you stumble across, that it changes and evolves and you have to work on it to stay alive. I was originally born in Scotland, but grew up in Sao Paulo, Brazil. In my early 20s, I was a little bit lost in life and um, my sisters decided that they were going to save me. They took me on a lovely holiday to Greece and we went out on the first night and we went to a bar close by and we sat down and we were having a drink and there was a man standing, or a boy I should say, standing in the corner of the bar with his back to us. He had a long ponytail. And then we were there for a few drinks and then we got up to leave and he was leaving and as we were walking out the bar, he just happened to be next to me and I asked him if he would give me a cigarette, which he said no to <laughs> because it was his last cigarette. And then I asked him if he would share that last cigarette with me. We shared that cigarette, we sat on this lovely rock wall outside the bar and we started talking. And next thing I know, we walked to the next bar and we were still talking. Three o'clock in the morning, we're sitting on the black sandy beach of Santorini where there's a beautiful deep blue sea in front of us. And finally, he leans over and plants a big lovely kiss right on my lips. The sun rose and it was time for me to go back to my sisters and it was time for Mark to go back to his friends. So we parted ways and my sister in the middle of the afternoon said, Libby, you are in love with this boy. What are you doing? And I said, no, no, it was wonderful, it was magical and you know, I'm, that was it. And then she convinced me that it was something more to the story. So we decided to go find him and of course we couldn't find him. This was before cell phones, internet. Spent hours looking for him. I suddenly got very desperate and anxious and thought, oh, I think I might have missed the man of my life. The sun is setting, my sister and I finally distraught, come back to our little room and bathroom in the middle of nowhere. And the next building over is a two-story building with a restaurant and as we're walking to our room, someone's whistling uh, from the second floor and we both look up and Mark is sitting at a window, waiting and watching for us to arrive. It took three days before the earth shook for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it took three days, it took, you know, a few days uh. before I realized how much I like her. Suddenly we were just traveling full time together. So we spent some time in Greece and then we went to Amsterdam for a little bit. The summer came to an end and the summer was actually supposed to continue. I was actually supposed to travel around Europe some more when um, my trip in Greece ended. Uh, but unfortunately my grandfather died. Mark and I traveled to Paris together because we were both leaving from Paris to our different countries and that was really quite devastating for both of us because it was again this feeling of this wonderful love affair has come to an end. How, how did it feel when you guys were separated? Like you know something part of you was lost or gone. Well I called her from New York and told her I was going home you know and told her to <laughs> meet me in Salt Lake. We were teenagers, we were young and stupid, and when I came to Salt Lake City, I... Got pregnant with Luigi. Well, you know, you're that age. You're not married, you know, you don't have the plans, everything's kind of whirlwind. I don't know what she thought, you know? She knew I, you know, loved her and would do anything for her. And, but she had to go back to Brazil. And missed Mark, like, my life was over. I was about being away from him. I, I couldn't live without him. And he was devastated here thinking that I was not going to come back. She came back, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she came back like a couple of months later. We, we did get married um, because we love each other. Again, when Mark and I met, we were, we were really children. We were 20, 
uh, we barely knew each other. We dove into this love affair head first. Uh, it was very exciting. And I have to say that 20 years later, it's still just as beautiful as and exciting as it was the first day that we met on that beautiful beach.